Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, and today I'm doing a extremely special episode called What Type of Relationship Are You In? Now, before I start this show, before I bring on my co-hosts, I want to say a few things. First, if you are extremely sensitive, this might not be the show for you. There may be trigger warnings in this show. So if you get offended easily, please take everything we are about to say with a grain of salt. The reason I'm doing this show is, um, first of all, just relationships today can be really complicated and difficult to navigate. I wanted to bring this show in a somewhat funny way with a somewhat funny, I, I wanted to be a little bit comical about it. So again, it's all about relationships, but if you get triggered easily, if you are very sensitive to these subjects, please, if, if you need to click, click away, click away. Okay. Um, second, uh, don't take one thing I say and run with it. Your relationship is based on many, many different aspects. So if I say one thing and you're like, oh my gosh, that happened six months ago. This is my whole relation. No, no, it's not your whole relationship. It's one thing that happened. Don't take one thing I say and turn it into your relationship. You know your relationship. This might be one thing that just happened at one point. It doesn't define your relationship. So the first co-host today is Dylan. Hey, Dylan, what's up? Uh, it's good. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So Dylan, um, today we are doing a show about the different types of relationships and some of some of the aspects in those relationships. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Let me start there. <laughs> uh, we will see. We will see if I'm ready. Yeah, I have some really tough I think I am. Awesome. I have some pretty tough questions for Dylan because Dylan is, Dylan, you're single? Dating? Yeah, single, yes. Okay, so Dylan's single, and he has a lot of guy friends. He he has a lot of guy acquaintances. So his answers might not be based on his personal experience, but if they're based on experience of what he has seen, he can bring accurate answers. Now, again, part of the reason I'm doing this show is I think sometimes men and women in relationships can easily be misled, can easily be um, misunderstand where a relationship is at, right? They can think it's one place, but it's really another place just because either there's not clear conversation or or it, it for whatever reason, it's happening, it's happening. So here we go. The first um, type of relationship, and I'm comparing these all to different types of movies, just so you know. So the first type of relationship is a rom-com, a romantic comedy, some something that um, both people are interested in taking it to the next level. They're both working on the relationship. There are a few little mishaps. The relationship goes up and down. Um, there's, there's dinners. There's plans for the future. There's weekend getaways. That's what I would describe as a, a kind of like a romantic comedy type of relationship where there might be a few misunderstandings, but both people are sincerely and truly working on getting that relationship to the next level with each other. Okay. Um, the next type of relationship is the reality show relationship. It's a lot of drama, uh, maybe some baby mama drama, maybe some family drama, maybe just arguments between the two of you, constant jealousy, maybe some, you know, adult beverages or addictions are involved. There's, it's just a dramatic relationship. 
like it's a Jerry Springer type of relationship. Now, not many of my people are going to be having this relationship, but there might be aspects where like, oh my gosh, his sister just brings so much drama to our relationship or, you know, whatever it is. And the third type of relationship is, are you in a porn? Because, and now love, before you get offended, don't get offended, everybody. Y'all just hold on, take a breath. Um, this is like the friends with benefits relationship. This is the relationship where they come over possibly late at night, mid afternoon, early morning. There's some adult activities going on. So uh, there's a lot of coming and going. Let's just put it that way. There's a lot of coming and, and going in this relationship, but there's no plans for the future. There's no real talk about, you know, hey, where is this going? And this might be the type of relationship where one person, and I think we're going to spend a lot of time on this relationship over the other two types of relationships today, because this is the type of relationship that can bring one person a lot of confusion um, because they think it's going someplace. They have this, they're just hoping or thinking it's going to go someplace. It's going to be a real more of a relationship like well we're in this state but eventually we'll get to this place or be doing this thing and um i think that is probably where we're going to have some serious questions today and some serious conversations because a lot of people that come into my office a lot of people that call on the show a lot of people that have sessions over the phone this is the type of relationship they're talking about the uh, type of relationship where they are hoping it's one thing or they're thinking it's one thing and the other person is just not on that page for whatever reason. So I'm going to start with a question for Dylan. Dylan, there are um, there are different types. I have to turn my OK, everybody, my text my text notification is a dog barking. So I clearly I need to uh, turn that off now um, so that uh, that doesn't uh, come through anymore. So, okay, Dylan, um, a man, when a man, when a man meets a woman, I feel like breaking out into verse on that. <laughs> And there, he is serious about this woman. How long does it take a man to know he's like serious about the woman? Like, this is it. Like, not necessarily this is it. I want to marry her. Just, wow, I, I think I want to find out more about her. How long does that take? Does so it continually move the relationship forward is what you're saying? Well, yeah. Like, you know. You let's, keep moving forward. It's up to you want to keep... Uh, keep pursuing well yeah well okay so some something he's serious about so let's just say you go to dinner with a woman do you know during that first dinner or that first date or that first coffee do you know how much like if in man speak not only you but other guy friends of yours are you aware at that point in time that this is something like, do you know throughout that conversation, like, Hey, I really like this person. I'm going to take it further. Well, you probably, that, yeah, I would think, you know, probably in the first two dates. Okay. Two dates, three dates uh, in the first two weeks of the, the relationship, you would know if you could see all, all the positives. Maybe there are a few negatives, but it's not a, a red flag type of negative, and you want to keep pursuing it. So I would say in that first two weeks, you would know yes or no if you want to pursue it. Okay, perfect. So to that level that you're, and that's really good for women to know because sometimes women think men are wanting to possibly like they keep going out with them or keep meeting up with them because. The woman thinks it's serious, but the man is just in that casual, let's have fun place, right? 
So it's good to know that within like maybe that first two weeks, a man is aware of the fact if he wants to take this a little further or not, right? That's really, I think that's very telling. Now, it doesn't mean that within the first two weeks, the man is going to be madly in love with you or be planning the wedding. That's more of a girl thing than a man thing. So girls, you know, be practical about these answers. Um, and, and if it doesn't, if he doesn't show something in the first two weeks, it doesn't mean that there's absolutely no interest there either. It just means, you know, that maybe he's on the fence or something like that. But, um, Dylan, in a relationship, what are the steps when a man is serious about a woman what are the steps that that man will take based on your friends and you with the steps the man will take with the woman to let her know he's a little bit more serious and it's not so casual? I would say probably introducing to uh, some family or friends, you know, some people that are, are close to that person, that individual doing, um, more serious talk about going, you know, say on a trip somewhere. You know, more talk about future things and showing more of your life, more of what is important to you. Maybe it's a close couple of friends that you have or more, uh, you know, intimate interests that you have or maybe goals and where you, where you want to go in the future. Start sharing that kind of information. That would be a very positive sign that it's moving in a really good direction. Absolutely. I agree 100%. And I, I can't stress this enough. If someone is, I think if someone's truly interested in you, you're going to know by the content of their conversation and the, the, um, the time you spend together, where it is and what you're doing. Okay. Um, now, from a man's perspective, and I know this is really hard for women to hear, and it's really hard for some men to hear too. And I, I, I'm trying in my head to come up with that really right way to phrase this, um, to not be too, to not let this question sound too harsh. But if a woman is uh, allowing a man to come over for adult activities, he will, will he do that for as long as he can without like a commitment, even if he's not interested in a commitment? That's, that's for you, Dylan. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a tough one. I, I think that, that could be different for uh, each guy, I would think. I would think, uh, well, I think off your topic a little bit, if, if the guy is asking more about maybe your close friends or your family or asking you a lot of questions or asking what you think of the future, that would be a definite sign that he's interested in pursuing it even further, even if it is what you just described, that he's just coming around at late at night, and but maybe it develops into that. You know, I think sometimes that's missed, that it could develop from starting as that type of relationship. But all of a sudden now this guy, he feels more interested and he's asking more questions and wanting to know more about your life. Then he, he's definitely more interested. Okay, that's a good, that's a very good valid point. Thank you for adding that. So if somebody is like starting to ask more questions or starting to be more interested in your life, how, because I think like women, assume like we've been, not I don't want to say assume but we've been together this long this has been going on this is just the way it is eventually we're going to get there and I know you can't speak for all men but at what point at what point do women does a in a partnership in a coupleship at what point do you have to say okay it's been like this for this long um and I don't really see progression in the relationship. 
at what point do you think if a woman is interested in progression, she can really call a guy out on that sort of behavior? Because women, I'm going to tell you from a woman's perspective, and not only from my perspective, from from a lot of women that I've talked to, we try to be understanding. We try to be nurturing. We try to feed the relationship. We think if we do certain things, it's going to lead to a certain place. And we we think the guy is on the same page. And a lot of times they're not. So at what point, and I know it's different for every man, but at what point should a woman or a man in this situation who wants a serious, a more serious relationship really say, look, um, we're here. When are we going to get here? Because you don't want to do that on the third date. You don't want to do that in the first month even. I don't think. I don't think the first month is a good time to really try to pinpoint that. Well, I would say just test it with some plans for the future. You know, mm-hmm. say, hey, we, we could go up to this uh lake house or we could go up for this vacation spot let's do that and let's just say that's a month out just to make sure he can take off the work or he can plan things his answer will show you how serious he is I lo- you know yeah. that's something that's a month out and he, you're asking a very point blank answer let's do this let's do this for you know even a, a week vacation or going somewhere farther away that might be where you might get your answer if he hesitates it's like coming up with reasons why he can't you might have your answer right there because he should want to if it's something hits he's like i'm all in i'm in on this i want to see this relationship move forward and see where it goes to the answer would be fairly quick excellent (laughs) that's an awesome answer dylan um So in that case, like, I think most people know the relationship they're in and the dynamics of it. And many times people let it go so long, they think that, well, naturally there's going to be a payoff or they're just too afraid to quit the relationship and go for something new. Um, They don't, the biggest thing I hear from men and women is I don't want to start over again. I just, I don't want to start over again. I don't want to have to go out there and start dating again. I don't want to have to uh, go through all those first stages again. I don't want to have to uh, start meeting people again and, and have it not possibly not work out again. So my, I'm going to give you my answer and then I'll let you give yours, Dylan. You're, but- you're talking risk right now, risk reward. It, it, right, right. Like, okay, if you, I think if you're not getting what you want in a relationship and you've given it a certain amount of time and that amount of time has to be comfortable for each person. But I think once you get past a certain amount of time, you have to look at the relationship and say, okay, this is what it is. I, it, it's not going to be when you're talking years in. It's it's. I don't think it's changing. Do you? Once we get to those years, Mark. Yeah, I would say after you know, well, two years might be a big stretch. Uh, to some women, a guy would think that's a short period of time. So that is up for interpretation. Okay, if a guy oh, is after- time frame wise. Okay, if a guy is serious about a woman and he's invested two years, is he making those moves to make it more serious? Is he making those moves to let her know or is he just going with the flow? Mm. (laughs) He's got to make some tiny commitments as he goes along. He has to, maybe it's just something is, he lives far away or he's out of town. He makes a commitment to to move within that two years or year and a half. That's a commitment that he's wanting it to move in a, a positive direction. 
Okay, what if they're both local? And it's good because the thing is, I think a lot of times in a relationship, people either have the assumption it's going someplace or they have the assumption uh, like this has been going on this long. Um, let's say it's been somewhat casual for this long, but if I just hold on, it's going to get serious. So in in my in my thought in my thought um, if it's gone on for a certain amount of time and it hasn't changed and you've had those conversations it's probably not going to change now I I would agree with you yeah if you've had the conversations if you've asked the important questions don't make us I don't think we can make a lot of assumptions in relationships because we don't know the dynamics of the other person's mind at any given moment, but we do have the right to question where things are going. And if I want to say this, a lot of women will say, well, I, I don't want to ask him because I don't want to upset him. In my opinion, if you're afraid, to Lord, they, not, they don't want to know the answer. That's, I think that's part of that. it. Yeah, I think that's a really big part of it. I, I honestly do think that we don't want to ask sometimes because we're afraid of the answer or we're hoping the answer is going to be this and it's not. But if you're sincerely afraid to upset someone by asking them a question, that's not someone you should even be in a relationship with as a friend, let alone a partner. If somebody gets upset. No, I don't want that relationship's going nowhere then. Exactly. If you're afraid to ask someone a question? Yes. No. If you're afraid of the answer, that's one thing. But if you're afraid you're going to upset them with a the question, then you already know what the answer is, and they're getting irritated because either they don't want to tell you the truth or they've already had this conversation. Either way, if somebody's going to get upset based on your question, and, and you have a certain amount of fear with that, you need to maybe think about letting that go. Just let it go. Now, I want to... Yeah, reevaluate, yeah. Exactly. I want to go back to getting out of a relationship because I started saying um, a lot of women and men, they don't want to start over again. But I, I just have this belief system. If you're not getting what you want, in what you in the relationship that you're in, you a you're never going to get what you want in that relationship, and you have to decide: a is it is it more important to keep a situation you're not happy in, or get what you want and be happy? Do you believe what you want is out there? And believe me, it's out there. If if there's something you want in a relationship. If you want your relationship to, to look a certain way, trust me, there is another person out there for you that also wants that. It might take a minute to find them. So I always say, don't be afraid to start over. If you're truly not happy, don't be afraid to start over. Don't be afraid to let go and move to something else. If you're not happy and you're not getting what you want, because there are millions of people in this world, you are going to find one that fits your criteria. Would you agree with that, Tim? Uh, Dylan, God, where did that come from? I'm so sorry. Well, well, I, I would say two things to that. I, I think another part to that would be, you know, the confidence in yourself that you should trust that you, there is somebody that might be the right fit for you out there. And yeah, you are taking a risk. You're taking a risk for maybe this is going okay. You're somewhat happy with it, but it's not going anywhere maybe. And so then you are taking a risk that now, you know, like anything, you might have to take two steps backwards or one step backwards to go two steps forward, right? Absolutely. That would be kind of that and just the confidence in yourself that 
you will find something different. You will find something better. But it is a risk. I can see why anybody would be would be scared of that. Yeah. I, yes, absolutely. It's not easy to walk away from something, especially something you have invested time and love and your heart in. And letting somebody go is never easy. I don't care if, if sometimes you could be with somebody for three months and felt such a deep and profound connection to them. And you still know that this might not be the right person for you. And, and it's difficult and it, it sometimes it hurts a great deal to walk away from something that didn't work out or isn't working out. But the, the, the question you have to ask yourself, and it depends on the type of relationship you're in. If somebody keeps, you know, uh, if, if you're only getting this aspect of the relationship and you're not getting the whole relationship that you want, are you willing to settle for that for the rest of your life? Because that hurts too, to be in something where you're not fulfilled. It, it eventually you feel defeated. It takes pieces away from you. And it, whether you're male or female, that that's just a solid fact. And so sometimes you have to walk away just to regroup yourself and rebuild yourself. And then, you know, the right thing can come in. What what do you think, Dylan? Well, I would say if you've got to be old, you know, uh, you know, there's been a lot of books written out there, you know, about if you're open to it, you got to be open to it if it's going to come and come into your life. If you're just going to be closed minded and think it'll never happen, and it goes back to that confidence idea that you've got to be confident that there is something else out there for you. If you have your mind open-minded to that, there's a lot better chance that that's going to happen. There's no guarantee. Obviously, that's why it's a risk. There's no guarantee, but you're more open-minded to, and a lot of times I think early on, if you express what you want out of a relationship, you're going to get that. Yes. You know, you, you put out there what you want to have come back to you, and if you express that this is what I'm looking for. And, you know, again, obviously not on the first day, not on the second day, but as it progresses in the first month or two and you express that, well, that confidence might be what attracts that person more and more. Absolutely. And we are coming up on the 30 minute mark. And I just want to say, um, I, I agree 100% with what you said, Dylan. And I'm going to add to that. I always find a way to ask a guy, are you looking for something serious? It doesn't have to be with me. Okay. But if they're not even in a place where they're looking for something serious, that you're not going to be the person that changes their mind. You're not because they're not even looking at a commitment. They're not, they're nowhere near being in a commitment. It doesn't matter what you do, how you do it. But I, I think that's a fair question, even on a first date, um, not asking where do you see this going with me, but what are you looking at at this time in, a, in relationships? And I, I do feel like that might be a fair question to put out there right away. So you don't invest, either one of you invest in something that neither one of you might be, I'm, I'm saying that so backwards, but I think everybody knows what I mean with that one. So have an absolutely amazing rest of the week and a beautiful weekend, everybody. Bye.